Hi everyone, this is obviously a bit of a different video. I don't typically dedicate videos to certain new releases, um, but the number one question, literally, that I get is about my washi tapes because they're not readily available and I feel like if I don't properly inform everyone and be super annoying about promoting these washi tapes, um, it would be a shame. If you have been wanting to get your hands on some of my washi tapes, this is a perfect opportunity. I'm going to start off by showing you all of the designs and then showing you some of the coordinating items that I'll also be releasing and then at the end I'm going to explain how the pre-order hybrid sale format is going to be, which is like the most boring part. I'm going to start off by unwrapping all of the plastic and show you the designs. So the first design that I have is coffee time. How appropriate is this? I can't believe it's been over five years and I have not done a coffee themed washi. I'm so excited. Okay, I actually have not swatched any of these myself. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make sure I get every design. Okay, it's up to here. Try to make this straight. Look at that. So, first of all, the foil is a dark brown foil, um, kind of to represent coffee, obviously. Um, some of the foiling has little coffee beans and then there is a little message and then the background is kind of like You know those like layered coffees when you have um, Milk and then there's like a separation with espresso. You know what I'm talking about And yeah, we have drip coffee espresso cappuccino or it can be a latte um, This is just like a plain coffee. I think of this as like Americano um, a caramel macchiato iced coffee a mocha regular to-go cup coffee and then this is cold brew okay say coffee isn't really your thing maybe you are a tea person well i also have a tea time coffee for you and i love this one just as much i'm also a tea drinker so um it's perfect for me once again i'm gonna make sure that i grab all of the designs All right, so the background of the tea time washi is like a light milky tea color, basically a beige. And the foil, I'm calling it a matcha green foil. And I think it's just so perfect. Um, so we have green tea with a little heart detailing, um, milk tea or bubble tea. We have Earl Grey, or it can just be like any black tea. This one is supposed to be matcha, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little steam coming out with hearts and then there's also steam coming out of the coffee one what is this one? Oh yeah this is supposed to be peppermint with like a little lemon wedge hibiscus chai latte this one is just another black tea variation i'm just obsessed they look so cute together and i cannot stop staring at the foil Moving on, this one is very dark. This is called A Spooky Neighborhood, and this one is, I think, the second installment? I have to double check, actually. Um, so this is the first one. Yeah, and then this is the second one. So this is A Friendly Neighborhood. This one is A Snowy Neighborhood that I released for Advent 2020. Yeah, 2020. Sorry, that was really awkward. Um, so yeah, this is the third one. It is a spooky neighborhood, and as you can see, it is- it's not pure black, but it goes- okay, you know what? Let me just swatch it. I'm being annoying. Okay, so the background is a gradient from basically a black all the way to a medium toned gray. Um, the, I guess, lawn <laughs> is a light gray, and then we have the spooky houses. There's, um, a little black cat, there's some bats, and some tombstones, spider webs, what else? I designed these like months ago so I, I can't even remember what I did. Um, some like dead looking trees, and then the foil, first of all it's silver, um, there's a bunch of stars and it looks amazing against this um, really dark background. Um, but my favorite part is I did like a little ha 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 evil laughter uh, foiling and I think it's just it's perfect <laughs> I'm just complimenting myself by the way I'm really giddy because first of all I'm excited but I also have 
this iced Americano. It's very delicious, but it also happens to be my third cup of coffee for today. So yeah, anyways, number four. Are you ready? This is the last one, by the way, of the collection. Um, this is a planner land and it is my first thick washi. Um, this one is 18 millimeters, whereas these ones are 15. So as you can see, it's a little thicker, um, nothing too drastic. I thought about doing a 20 millimeter, basically two centimeter thick washi, but I felt like it was a little too thick. So I knocked it down a little bit. Um, and I, I'm pretty happy with the size. So this one doesn't have any foil. I didn't think it needed any foil. And it's also the background of my Facebook group banner. So that's where this came from. So it's basically a scenery where all of the little houses are actually planners. So we have this like Hobonichi Techo. We have a traveler's notebook, a spiral bound, spiral bound planner, um, a ring bound planner, in the back there is a hard bound planner and then there's also little pens kind of like trees um, and there's some washi tape some uh, happy mill again I designed these like months ago so I don't really remember what I did but there's probably some other hidden things in here um, and by the way I just want to point out that the um, Hobonichi cousin I purposely cut off the bottom um, it's the same way in the Facebook group banner. I just wanted to disclaim that because sometimes I design things purposely, but it looks like errors. Um, so yeah, these are the four new washi tapes that I'm so excited about. Now I'm going to show you the two small coordinating items that I believe I haven't shown in the Facebook group or on Instagram yet. So you guys are getting a first look at them. So they are these coordinating sticker seals. This one is the coffee time version and then this one is the tea time version and they're both like a brown coppery foil um kind of to match you know coffee the color of coffee and tea and i love them so much they're so cute i also believe we are using a new bean card this one um if it's not I, someone is going to be very angry with me, but hopefully I'm correct. Um, and I'm so excited about this one. It is just a little cafe scenery, perfect for fall. Um, this emoji is kind of just working with a croissant and I kind of did like a blurry effect. Um, and yeah, I just love this one. Another item that will be available is the gray stationary pouch. Um, this was supposed to be for my birthday sale, hence it's gray and matching with the theme. Um, however, it got pulled because our pouch shipment was uh, delayed at customs for several weeks and it was so, 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 so stressful. This one is also limited quantities. It's going to be strictly one per person. I have to be completely honest with you guys. I'm very disappointed with these pouches. I specifically ordered for a certain size and unfortunately it's much narrower than I thought um, so it's quite limited in the things that it can hold so for example this is the A5 Archer and Olive notebook it will not fit in this pouch also the Hobonichi cousin it will not fit in this pouch um, it was intended to fit but it just didn't work out that way but for things like um, but for things like the Hobonichi Weeks or like the Slimmer Archer and Olive notebooks, these fit perfectly. So there's literally nothing wrong with these pouches. Like they're made fine. They're very much functional and all of that. But just because, you know, as a designer of these products, I know my intentions for them and they did not turn out how I wanted to be. So I, I genuinely just do not feel right selling them as is. So they will be discounted. Again, nothing wrong with them but it's just because I, I'm not happy with them. So they will be discounted. Um, oh, I, I literally forgot to tell you the most exciting part. There is an elastic pen loop. So as you can see on both sides, so you can actually load up both sides with pens and use it as a pen case, or you can put in other stationary items like, I don't know, rulers or um, scissors or something like that. Um, yeah, so overall a really cute and functional pouch just not exactly how I wanted it to be so and now I'm going to talk a little bit about how the sale is going to work and there's a reason why these two washies are 
on the same area basically i designed these washi tapes again like months ago and i had them produced with the intention of doing just a regular release say i produced 10 of each then i'm gonna put up 10 of each um, obviously that's not the real number um so that was my intention but then we hosted my 21st birthday sale in which i released a bunch of products including these two uh these top two washi tapes and they sold much faster than I thought, which I'm really grateful for, but um, it also caused a lot of disappointment. So I, I really didn't want to put you guys through the rush of ordering again and put myself through the stress. So I came up with this um, pre-order hybrid system. Uh, basically on Tuesday, October... October... Oh my gosh, I need to check. Tuesday, October 19th at noon Pacific time, everything that I manufactured already and that I have on hand will be put up in the store. If in the case that whatever we have on hand sells out, then I will immediately put it up as a pre-order. So, you know, if you happen to log on late and um, you go to check out but the coffee time washi is sold out, then just like give me a few minutes and the pre-order listing should pop up right in the store and you can pre-order the washi tape instead. Obviously, there is the trade-off where pre-orders, they take much longer. Um, it's 1.5 to 3 months um, for your order to ship because you're pre-ordering something that has yet to be made um, but it's still 100% guarantees that you get the washi tapes that you want so I hope that explanation made sense and the vertical emoji heads and the working time washi tapes from my birthday sale um, I promise that they will be available as pre-order so these will be available as pre-order pre -order as well and if any of these designs go on pre-order, they will be ending on Sunday, um, October 24th. So you essentially have from Tuesday the 19th to Sunday the 24th to 100% guarantee that you can get any of these washi tapes. One other thing that I want to mention is that, for example, you want to order this coffee washi and this tea washi. And let's say the coffee washi is still in stock and the tea time washi has gone out of stock and it's now on pre-order. If you um, order these two in the same order, so same transaction, then the entire order will not be able to ship until the tea time washi is done production in 1.5 to 3 months. That's because you're paying for the shipping cost only once, so the entire order cannot ship until everything in your order is available. So, you know, if you um, want something that's in stock and something that's out of stock, uh, you have the funds to pay shipping twice and you would prefer to get the items faster, I would recommend to separate your orders, one for things that are in stock and one for items that are out of stock. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions at all, definitely let me know and I will try to answer them as soon as possible, likely before Tuesday. Thank you always for your support with my creations. It's literally a dream. Um, so yeah, I will see you next week for another video. Bye!